So many hours later, here's the big reveal. Hey guys, we are vlogging today from our dining room. You can see our kitchen in the background. But in today's video, we are assembling our work surface tables that we got from Uline. They came in on Friday and we managed to bring them into the basement. Gibson. That's Gibson saying hello. He did not play with his toy this entire time. <laughs> That's what today's video is going to be about. And we will show you what they look like when they're done. So hopefully we're able to put them together and it's not gonna require a third person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they looked really heavy. They were heavy. I had some help getting them down there. Yes, thank you Ian and Jenny. You are our saviors. <laughs> I'm wearing my Zimf optical glasses today. They're so lightweight, I feel like these glasses are gonna be my everyday glasses now moving forward because I have nearsightedness. I don't need glasses to function, but they do make the world just a little bit crisper, so that's good. <laughs> And hopefully when we get our work surfaces put together, I can finally start making things because this Calgary air is so dry. My skin is like, can't even see. I don't have any quench lotion and I'm being stubborn about it. I want to use my quench lotion. I don't want to buy any other lotion. So shall we get these tables going? Yep, let's do it. So these are the boxes we're working with. They came in a big truck on Friday and the guy had our tables on a, what do you call them, a skid? A, a pallet and each box he said was over 150 pounds. So these are quite heavy. All right So that's the frame there. Yep. And these are the table tops. Yeah, that's that's the frame and then this is the work table So I think we're gonna open that first because I think you're gonna want to have to put the tabletop flat on the ground and then Put these in but hopefully there will be some sort of instructions in here. Fingers crossed. It's a little bit more detailed than Ikea instructions. And just a bit of a glance of how our storage units have come along. These are all Ikea. Ikea, 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 Ikea. And we are planning to add more shelves here. And maybe a pegboard so that I can hang my utensils, like my brushes, my heat reader. All the little tools I can have just hanging off of here. So that is the plan. This shelf is big enough to hold all of my supplies. And this locker is big enough to hold all of my fragrance oils, which is cool. To help organize the shelves, I have these bins that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. I have this spice rack stair shelf thing. What does this say? It's a rack, a spice rack. And I'm gonna use this to organize my bath bomb dies over there. And I have these shelves here that will help me use up more of the vertical space. Dempsey is aside to join the party. And Gibson is supervising, as usual. Where's the instructions? Huzzah! So you need an Allen key or an Allen wrench. Okay. It's included somewhere. That's all you need is an Allen wrench. Is this the main work service table? That's so cool. This is the, the shelf underneath. Yeah, this is the long one. We got a 72, right? Awesome. All right, so let's. Put, I'm gonna put this away to the side. This is our making table. This this is six feet long, Kale? Yeah, six feet yep. long. Six feet long. And 36 inches deep. Yep. 
six long, three wide. Yep, and so the next table we're going to assemble is the four foot table that's gonna go in this area, and this will be our heat sealing station slash whatever else we wanna use it for. Yep. And this is only four feet long? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Four, four feet. by three. Yes. Yep. But we have extra, it's deeper than the table we used to use, so that should give us the extra space that we wanted for yeah. a heat sealing table. Right, I think this one's only four by two, right? Four by two? Four by two. Yeah, we went a little bit less wide. Ah, we'll see. Okay, yeah, we'll see. So we're now gonna tackle the packing table and this is gonna be the heaviest table that we're gonna work with today. So hopefully it's not the hardest. <laughs> upside down, place adjustable feet into legs and slide into the desired height. At least we have this handy table to rest our tools on now. Oh look, there's a table now. <laughs> How'd that get there? Some hard work, I think. Yeah. So these are the pieces in that first box, but we need the legs and the frame, which we think is in this box. Kayla's trying to decide on the height right now. The table can go pretty high. I think it's at the, the tallest where the top shelf is, it's 96 inches. Yeah. So, and then the thing about choosing a height for the table, there, the actual surface of the table is another couple of inches taller than where the ends of this frame is. So you wanna kind of have it where you want it and then just go a couple inches lower than that. So that's what we're trying to figure out now. what we have and we need to move this into the packing room which is behind Kale over there so to finish the rest of this table before it gets too heavy we're gonna move it in place and then complete the table in where it's gonna be going permanently so this is where the packing table is going to be you can see we have our boxes in here and yeah, the space is great for that. Can't wait to get that tabletop on, but it might be too heavy for me to lift, but we'll see. That's a tabletop right here. <laughs> so we made a mistake. Uh, <laughs> we shouldn't have brought the table in here because the instructions tell us to um, put the tabletop down on the floor and then flip this guy upside down onto the tabletop so that Kale can drill the table to the frame. So what we have to do next is lay the, the really heavy table top down and then flip this guy over. He's super heavy, so we'll see if we're able to do it. <laughs> Fingers crossed. We did manage to flip the tabletop over on its back, so that's a good sign. <laughs> So 
at this point, we have the frame flipped over on top of the tabletop, and I have to drill some pilot holes um, with a 3 16 inch drill bit. There's just a lot of holes in the frame, and I feel nervous <laughs> putting all these holes in this brand new tabletop, but here we go. That's what the instructions say. We're following instructions today. <laughs> So Kale has added the shells where the boxes are going to be filed into and we are almost there. We just have to get this table back into its spot here and then we're going to attach the uprights so that we can put in the shelves and the roll for the parchment paper. But this was by far the hardest table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah this was several hours but good job Kale. So here is where the table is going to live. We have uprights that we need to install and hopefully the ceiling is high enough. I think it will be. But once the uprights are in, we're gonna put this flush against the wall and maybe down the line install more shelves along these walls to really maximize the, the wall space. But so far, so good, Kale. Your little packing room. Is that fun? <laughs> so these boxes were the extras. This is a shelf. What Kale just took away was a shelf. This is the reel that will hold the packing paper and maybe bubble wrap. And then back there are the uprights that will hold everything. So we got the uprights in, good job Kale. Next we're gonna be doing the real holder. And this is to carry our butcher, or what, would, what do you call that paper? I'm blanking. Yeah, packing paper. Packing paper, yeah. Also bubble wrap if you want to put bubble wrap on there too. But we'll see, first step is just get it on here. Our energy is getting low now. Yeah. <laughs> this has been an all day project and it's dark out now. Here's the big reveal. Ta-da! That is a packing table all assembled and this was a hard one to do. So if you're planning on getting this table, make sure you have some help because <laughs> I feel like this is a heavy table. There are a lot of parts and it needed two people to get <laughs> everything assembled together. Yep. Yep. But this table has two shelves. It has the, the reel for the bubble wrap or packing paper and it has more shelves so not only is it a really great surface area to pack orders but it's also a really great storage solution for all the random packing supplies that was everywhere in our dining room table when we yeah. used our dining room also, yeah, yeah. Inefficiently, so. yeah. yeah. Yep. and this huge mess will be cleaned up at some point <laughs> there's a lot of cardboard here that we're gonna have to get out at some point but we also did the four foot table which is here and this will be our heat ceiling table and we also did the masterpiece the jewel of this entire studio the workspace the six foot work table love it so that is it we really hope that you liked this video and if you did give it a huge thumbs up if you want to keep watching how the studio evolves because it's nowhere near done then subscribe for more videos. So until the next video, keep smiling, keep being awesome, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. I'm going to bed. Yeah. <laughs>
Thank you.